name is Wilson Young, and my team has been working with Global Civic Star for the past year to investigate the possibility of developing civic hybrids for the benefit of the declining farming industry using the somatic hybridization technique. The goal of this study was to complete the first stage of hybrid development, which is protoplast isolation from a range of commercially available civics with distinct characteristics. Hybrid development via protoplast fusion is a procedure in which somatic cells from two different species are fused together to create a new hybrid with the characteristics of both. As a result, we develop a transferable method for isolating protoplasts from a range of carbophytus civilians, including carbophytus albinity, one of the fastest growing species, and carbophytus striatus, which is more disease and epiphyte resistant. Seaweed farming contributes to the livelihoods of small marginal farmers across Southeast Asia. These farmers rely primarily on the cultivation of red algae. The process of propagation begins by selection of germplasm, which is then tied on long lines that are spread across the ocean in the shallow waters of coral reefs or in the coastal zones. The seaweeds are monitored constantly throughout their growth cycle and dead and decaying seaweeds are constantly removed. One of the major causes of seaweed mortality is the pathogen which causes ice ice disease. This is a bacterial pathogen and one of the reasons for the presence of this pathogen may be the high incidence of usage of the germplasm from a single parental genotype. University Malaysia Sabah in collaboration with Global Seaweed Star set forth to establish a protocol for the cultivation of seaweed germplasm in vitro using protoplast based technology. The seaweeds were transferred into the lab where they were established in vitro. Following this they were sterilized and the pathogens were discarded and the seaweeds were then subjected to enzymatic treatment for the release of protoplasts. Protoplasts are single cells which have the potential to differentiate into a complete seaweed. However, the isolation of protoplasts requires the usage of specific enzymes and buffers in order to ensure that the cells are released from the parental germplasm. The protoplasts are further validated using specific methods to establish their viability in vitro. Once a protoplast is isolated and established in a culture medium, it can then be transformed into a fully grown plant. Protoplasts can also be hybridized to create new variants and new species. The process of protoplast cultivation is unique to each species and the protocols must be established for each species independently. Following the isolation of protoplasts, their presence can be verified using microscopy and stains that only stain the fully viable protoplasts. This process will lead to the development of new varieties of seaweeds and ameliorate the need for germplasm that can be distributed to the farmers. My name is Kelvin Jik Singh. I am one of the researchers in this research project. Currently, we are developing a hybrid seaweed strain through somatic hybridization techniques. Hi, I am Meg Marshall. I am a researcher from Seedling Company. Currently, I am collaborating University of Malaysia Sabah for the development of hybridization technique of the Papaya seaweed using protoplast fusion. Using our method, we were able to isolate protoplast from two varieties of each Capophycus alvarezii and Capophycus striatus, yielding approximately 30,000 cells 
per 0.1 gram fresh wet of parent tissue and size ranging from 100 to 200 micrometer. The protoplast was grown in a growth medium to regenerate the cell wall, which is required for the cells to be fully exploited and potentially used in hybridization or protoplast fusion to produce hybrids with improved characteristics, such as higher yield, increased disease resistance, and greater resilience to climate change.